do a renovation in this it's been nice well we've been living in for eight months seven months on the road we're back from the tour and we're gonna take this whole thing and it's not much space but we're gonna try to renovate Kamea's room we're gonna take this nook area make it into more of a studio desk and for work and then try to build a bed for us because it's been a long time sleeping on these weird cushion things so here we go this is our only hammer this is what we're gonna renovate the entire <laughs> RV with because we have other tools, but we just don't need them. <laughs> this is it. Bring it on home to me. I'll give you all of my love. Boys, it's all plywood. That's all this. Get the screws. We need the screws. We need the screws. Please pass, pass them up. Get them. Thank you. Have fun. We've never done anything under an RV. Like, I don't even know what the floor is. I assume that it had old kitchen. Oops. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be sticky. Should go little by little then. Well, let's take the nooks out and then uh, check out the carpet. So that's not good. We might just cut that. That'd be okay. Yeah, that's okay. Figure that out. Let's take out the rest of the nook. Yep. We'll come back to y'all later. Okay. So he's just taking off all the big metal washers underneath, which is what the seatbelts are held on to. This is what holds the seatbelts and it's really cool. Like six of these, we're going to keep two of them. And this comes up from the bottom with the bolt. All right, so this is the scenario with the rugs. They put a putty on here. Unfortunately, there are definitely leftover adhesive marks and carpet, but we decided to start using our heat source over here, which is really cool. We use that for screen printing and it came out way better after heating the carpet on top. So all we did was took a piece of parchment paper, like so, and we would put it on top of the floor squares and then put the heater on top of the parchment paper. It heats it enough to just be able to kind of peel off the floor squares. And there it is, the entire floor. All right, so we got our last piece from hell. All right. This piece is stubborn. Goodbye, devil piece. Nice job. Last piece. It's been like five hours. <laughs> But five of the fun steps. Look at that crap. Guys, never you don't need never glue. This <laughs> is a dollar, two dollar carpet square. If you're only gonna buy two dollar carpet squares, you only need a, a couple staples. Okay, so we have to go through and sand this down, hopefully get some of this gook tar off. We also decided that all these little holes that we're not using instead of that crazy plan that we had before we're actually just going to use foam, foam because that's exactly what people use all right so almost done scraping this yeah and then we'll be able to um begin there we go we got our flooring yesterday are we happy about it no <laughs> are we yeah i think we are i'm very no, happy yeah. about it it's cool so it's pretty realistic looking it's nice and it's this vinyl stuff so it's very um flexible it's like a floating floor so they all fit together really nicely really looking forward to putting these babies in today and now we take the toilet out which is as simple as that oh, i'm leaving so this is the before walkthrough bathroom under the bed. Desk area. Took out some of the cabinets. 
And that's what that looks like. Hello, floor man. Hello. These are my flooring tools. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Show us around. Okay, so I know you're not supposed to screw anything, but with RVs and the steps, they had like a big half inch. Don't mind my, uh, <laughs> these are my work shoes. <laughs> and uh, it had a like a half inch lip of metal with big screws on top of it. So we actually just kind of took the screws out and kind of stuck them in, which Ava perfectly measured. <laughs> And now that's flush, so when our trim goes in, it should be all tight. Even though you're not supposed to nail a floating floor, you're probably not supposed to drive your floor 60 miles an hour either. So we're just kind of winging it. <laughs> okay. Final piece, maybe. There you go. My God. We did it. <laughs> That's amazing. What? Look, took the television down and there's badass glue sticking there. Don't need a TV. That could hold at least one mandolin, if not two mandolins, maybe even a bass. You didn't see us priming, so that's what we're doing right now. That's what the inside of our cabinets look like. <laughs> no, but it's all gonna be white. We're just basically going over everything yep. white. Hello. So we've been renovating like crazy because we don't have any of our studio gear here. So we're trying to build as fast as we can. But as of now, we got everything painted white. We got the new floors in here. Ava painted these cabinets. Uh, charcoal the color they were that's for the garbage we got this drawer that we made but we need as many as we can get and then this is an extra closet put a little light in here so this will be all like for coats and stuff because that's really hard to deal with on the road right now i'm building kamea a more sturdy bed frame we've been sleeping on like these fold out couch cushions for eight months. You know, grateful to have a bed and all, but I'm building this bed frame. I'm gonna put hinges on this. And I made this at 45 degree angle. So this is gonna be a slide out drawer. I'm gonna have that on the hinges there, maybe put some felt on the bottom. And I made this angle here. So it just closes right up. We redid the bathroom. Ava painted everything. That's, uh, that's black now. Eventually we'll replace that sink, but... Yeah, not this year. Or not for this room. This was difficult, but Ayla came through. Yeah. And, uh, oh, made these cool things the other day. Got some of this aluminum, so made these cuts so I could... And I truck bed lined them. So now basically they just fit in here. And this is our stairway. Next thing we gotta do this week is build a seat for Kamea and we'll put the seat belts, bolt them through. And then we got to build a desk that can do absolutely everything. I'm going to go out to business. Bring it on home to me. I'll give you all of my love. Everybody, thank you for bearing with us. So today is July 4th, so happy 4th of July. We finally have gotten to a place that we're gonna pause in the renovation and is not quite complete. 
for trim reasons, but otherwise this is what we're gonna be living in in the next two years. So here we go. We finally got Kamea's situation better. She has a brand new kind of mattress topper, which is really comfy. And it's a full queen size bed up here. Put this board up here to kind of keep it all together. And we built this ladder. This is Ayla's brilliant idea. That's why she's a genius. This is all just piping here. And we have a big piece of steel that's underneath and supported by the van itself. Two bolts in here come right out and the whole thing comes down for when you're driving. This is the studio. This is basically everything we had originally before the renovation, but now it's kind of all condensed. So instead of having to set up the keyboard and move everything, now it's just right here, it's all connected. Basically my rack mount gear and the gear we use for our SSD cards. And um, yeah, so this is our rack mount gear, which is connected to the coolest part, because I usually run like a 50 foot snake out into wherever we're recording. And as you can see, we have a little floor box for a stage box in here. So I can just plug the mics right into there, right on the top of the desk. I can send them out the window if I'm outside or just record in here. It's much easier. Before we had the nook where we had to rip up the seats, had to grab the mic stand, set everything up, run 20 foot cables in a five foot space because that's all we had. And it's ridiculous what we've been doing for eight months. But now this is literally like everything we use. The printer's on the bottom. There's a space to even bring other instruments that we can all play. And Kamea can sit here. She's learning piano now, but she can sit right here. And to hear it, we put our studio monitors. So these studio monitors, we just turn it on right here with the switch. And everything just turns on, so you can actually play piano right here and it'll come out up here. And that's how I can edit for the videos we post for you. We've never showed this before, but we used to have these all tucked up back there to a point where we just never really used them, you know? It's too much work in the end of the day. Might have showed you the closet. That first closet we had is just not enough. So I built this guy. But this right here is a closet. It has some extra stuff. The little light we put in there. And basically just kind of like a winter outdoor jacket storage and some kids shoes for Kamea. We have this extra drawer, which is kind of like the junk drawer, but also tools. Oh, also we lived eight months without a garbage can. You can't understand what that's like or how much garbage we as humans create daily unless you've lived out in one of these things. This is our garbage can right here. So we built this so it just tracks in because our garbage can was this big under that sink. This was the space we had for our garbage, which this doesn't go much deeper than here. So as you can imagine, but this is something we do. If you have an RV and you're worried about things flying around and hitting your kids, we just put two eye hooks down here with one of these carabiners. Basically what you do is you just go, whoop, and then here, now this can't come out. So we built this chair, which this has been a point of uh, controversy for us, but Ava wanted it this height. So we built it this height and we did the uh, fabric. This is like a deep storage, which will evolve over time. These are bolted through the frame of the vehicle. So they're actually much stronger and much safer than the nook area is in a regular RV. But this, if we ever did crash, this is the last thing moving. So that's what we wanted for Kamea. The other large renovation we did, this is a slide out. It's on tracks in there. But this, this goes right in. We did the same thing to the bathroom floor. We, uh, you know, just painted over here and everything kind of has a home. It's been really great to have, you know, comprehensive storage and space. Ayla decorated the whole thing. She did a really amazing job. This desk, if you ever wonder, this is all made out of guitar fretboards because I used to build instruments and there was a time in my life where I acquired many, many rosewood fretboards. So this is actually a rosewood fretboard uh, desk. What's next for us is we have a whole winter tour, depending on the pandemic and where we're at 
as a country and what we want to do, we're um, we're heading down to Florida, then back to Texas and out west for the winter, depending on a lot of things, obviously. But this is exactly how it's going to be for that entire, the second and third tour, most likely. But after that, we are going to be ripping this up. It needs to be replaced. And then this oven is really inefficient. So we're going to focus on going solar, trying to be as sustainable as we can and going green. There's a lot of different appliances and batteries and solar panels that you can do. So we can boondock where we don't need to pay for any living. And we could just kind of live off the land and make beautiful music and art all day.